Welcome back, everybody, for another great day for some lovely TA. So there's so much to talk about for the markets in general, but I'll be mainly focusing on Bitcoin. But first, I want to say I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves, and I hope you guys are doing well. These markets are they're very crabby, right? All right, so in this video, I'll be talking about Bitcoin on a daily time frame exclusively, because that's what I want to cover. And I will talk about this projection I have, this four projection I have, and I'll explain my rationale for it, okay? So... With, with, with all that being said, if you guys enjoy my content and you want to help support the channel, make sure you destroy the like button and also smash the subscribe button. So, all right, let's begin. So, as you can see on a daily time frame for the moving averages, we are right now, right, above the 10 simple, the white line, the 10 simple daily moving average, right? And we can obviously, we have a wick towards the 21 already. Wow, all in one day, right? So, the weekends, we are expecting some crazy things to happen. And... The key point here is if we can break above these wicks over here at, you know, $35,000, $36,000, it would imply, yes, that we are creating a higher low on this side, okay? And that would imply that, yes, the bulls are in control. And you, if you look at the RSI too, you can see here, we were in an ascending channel here. We fell through it, and we've had multiple tests and rejections of it, right? But you can see here, the most important thing to take, take note of is, is, is this point of inflection, how it changed the direction, and now it's pointing towards the upside. So at what point would I say, okay, now it's going to test, and at this point, could it pierce it? Yes, but just like this one, it pierced it, but can it hold? I don't think it's likely, so that's why I'm thinking, right? I'll just look at a macro picture. I do think eventually we will get some sort of crazy breakout towards the upside, but this does imply that we do get a bull trap because I do believe this will roll over. Now, I will explain that if we can break above this level, we've had to take out these, all these moving averages, okay? And this huge resistance area of about $40,000 to $42,000 level. If that happens, a lot of bulls will cheer and go crazy and think, yes, guys, we're going to get $100,000 right now, tomorrow, next week, whatever. They're going to, you know, it's going to be all over YouTube, all over Twitter. People are going to go nuts screaming for $100,000. But let me remind you. Traps work the best when people are emotional. And yes, emotions will peak around this area. And that is a perfect opportunity for a capitulation towards the downside. And let me remind you, what happens after capitulation? Around bottom. So we'll take a look at why I believe that happens shortly. But let's take a look more at these moving averages, okay? So you see a lot of flattening happening on the short-term ones. And even the white is going up a little bit. But on the longer term ones, I mean, make no mistake, we're still going down, right? This 200 now, this 200 simple is now flattening. The 200 exponential is definitely, definitely on a, like a negative slope. Same as this one, negative slope, decreasing these three, decreasing slope. So yes, we are still negative. And yes, remember our death cross, death cross, two of them, okay? So let me remind you. Descending triangles are, in fact, a bearish continuation pattern, okay? They tend to break towards the downside. That's why I say I am expecting a capitulation. Now, let me remind you. Let's go back to the 2018 one, right? 2018 one. Remember, we spent about 47 days in our current descending triangle. This infamous one lasted for 400, sorry, 349 days, all right? Three, basically 350 days. But what you need to look at is how long our rally was for that, right? So look, look how long this rally was. Let's just take a little measured move, right? I mean, look at that. About, let's just say 700 days of just upside overall, right? So you had basically 700 days of upside and about 350 days of, you know, sideways movement, right? So what I'm expecting for Bitcoin to do on the other side, remember, we are in somewhat of a descending triangle. I am expecting this portion here. This is what we want to pay attention to. This huge drop here. We want to see capitulation, like people giving up, saying, this market's not for me. It was all a scam, blah, blah. Bitcoin's going to go to $100 and $0, whatever, right? But again, capitulation move, right, leads into a round bottom, okay? A round bottom. And yes, this takes a lot of time to develop, right? Let's just take a little measured move of how long this took, right? So let's go from our capitulation to about the recovery. So about 172 days for that for that to occur. And again, I know it sounds like the markets are about to be very boring very soon. And guys, a lot of people aren't expecting that because, again, 
we were spoiled by how much and how fast we moved in these six months. Like ever since, you know, January or even Christmas, like when we broke 20,000, it's just been up and up and up and up. And people, like I said, you, we were spoiled, right? We were spoiled. And a lot of people for the first time experienced a trending market, right? And then when you go to a non-trending market like this, when it's just sideways and consolidating or accumulating, people don't like it because they're, they're like, it's like a crack. You're like an addict, you know, you're like, Where's, I need a high. I need a, I need something to like stimulate me, right? So when it's not stimulating you and you're like this, it's very boring, okay? And a lot of people are not used, a lot of the new trade, 90% of the new trades are not used to something like this, right? Because again, remember, we've been spoiled with this just going up and up and up every single day. Right. And yes, I get it. There's little short pullbacks, but they're nothing like this. Right. Not no pullbacks like this. This is pullback and just bouncing crab market. Right. Everybody wants to be a bear. Everybody wants to be a bull. Hey, I'm a crab. You got to join team crab. But guys, that's what I said. You know, let me let me just reinstate again. I am expecting a capitulation. OK, let me just draw this out for us visual learners out there. I'm expecting somewhat of a capitulation to occur. I don't know where it's going to occur. And then I'm expecting a round bottom to happen, like, right? Oops, sorry. Like a round bottom, something like a round bottom to happen. And it could take, you know, 200 days, whatever, 100 days, 50 days, 60 days, whatever. I don't, I can't predict the future, but somewhat of a round bottom to occur. And then we could resume. And yes, that basically, that basically entails that maybe we don't even get back to all time high until next year, right? And a lot of people don't want to hear that. But let me tell you, if you are an investor or even a trader and you want to accumulate a long position or get more Bitcoin, this is perfect for you. Because ask yourself, wouldn't you rather buy Bitcoin at 30000 20000 than buying at 50000 60000 right? And what's the difference between buying at 30000 and 25000 Are you going to let a $5,000 difference, you know, affect your investment, right? That's, that's, again, I'm not here to give you financial advice. I'm just here to, like, help your rationale and your psychology, okay? So again, guys, keep keep all of what I said in mind. It's all just my speculation, my analysis. Everything I do is just for educational purposes, right? Informative purposes. So that's all I have for you guys today. And again, let me remind you, if you guys enjoy this content, I need your help. Hit that subscribe, hit the like, and share with your friend, okay? I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.